Um, hi everyone, how's it going? Tim here and uh, today I want to do another one of those live streams. Uh, I mean, you know, most of you guys, like if you watched their last episode, I asked the question, which basically, uh, what do you want to see more of uh, one focused source like Crunchyroll or a multi-source approach? So you all said that multi-source is uh, what you're interested in. Uh, so we're going to go with that, but I think today we're going to be uh, finishing Crunchyroll stuff and wrapping up basically what we uh, we need to do. Uh, so one thing I actually um, thought about is that right now we're using the, um, uh, what do you call it, the YouTube DL for videos, right? So which I think is actually not really necessary because we should be able to get the... Um, the code ourselves because we're streaming anyway from their servers so the thing is it's like it's not really necessary to um, use a third-party tool for that so we might as well parse the source ourselves so we're gonna do gonna try and do that ourselves so I'm gonna go and open this source here and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab that I'm gonna have a look at what YouTube DL actually um, does okay I forgot the flag uh, let me think YouTube DL um, we need minus G right so this is what we're interested in gonna see what it actually outputs and uh, okay so it's some V V R V okay V V R V is there anything like this no not really okay uh, why is it flash no um, am I blocking JavaScript again yeah, come on no, I'm not really blocking anything. That's a bit weird. Uh, maybe this thing. No, it's it's even okay. Let, you know what? Let me let me just do this and reload. Come on. I mean, there should be flash. Not secure. Is it disabled or something? Uh, ask always allow. Yes. Reload the page. I guess it does some sort of request there, right? So let us have a look at the requests and no, no, no. I uh, got, let me make it a bit quieter. There we go. Okay, so there is some advertisements and the question is, okay, let's refresh. So basically it sends some sort of a request that gets uh, the, the link to the video, right? The question is which one? So I guess it's gonna be XHR or something and this is comments this is some google stuff this is facebook this is this doesn't actually look like um, anything we need okay what if we try to search in sources uh, anything relevant okay search among what was the find in all sources thing no uh, I guess we can just take a look at YouTube DL source code. I mean, they are doing it somehow, right? So we should be able to do that too. Right, um, there you go. So docs, def, I guess, no, it's probably not in mid, it's probably in YouTube DL, right? Um, extractor, this is what we want. And I guess they have a bunch of them. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we are interested in Crunchyroll, there you go. Okay, uh, login URL. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do that now and we're gonna do it in a completely different way. So we're not gonna store any passwords or anything like this. Um, we got Crunchyroll base. Okay, this is the regex to get the thing. So this is the tests. Um, this is the tests again. Okay, how do you do that? Degree subtitles data okay this is some subtitle stuff it seems to be actually quite complicated those guys are very uh, into ah there you go sub id okay so this is how they get subtitles um why am i not seeing this request here which is maybe it's not xhr maybe it's a flash no but i mean it still should appear here in the in the requests right so this is vendor stuff this is some true optic bonkers static facebook this is facebook stuff what does this do this is some tracker thing this is definitely not what we want 
<laughs> Google API. Static. Um, come on. Okay, let me see. Crunch a bit, but yeah. Can crunchyroll.com. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we have only requests going to Crunchyroll. There you go, there's the cross domain thing. So this is the flash thing that allows uh, it to do the cross domain requests, which is required for the video playback. And this is the video itself. So the question, where the hell does it get it from? Um, this is SVF file. Okay, this is SVF file. Okay, so this is already SVF requests, which means it's probably somewhere before that. So, Hmm. Okay, add block, block, add block. Yeah, that doesn't really seem to be working too well. Um, adds common JS, show media, show media JS maybe? Preview response. Eh, maybe that was a bad idea. Okay, no, we're good. Um, preview. I don't think preview actually, yeah, we need to open it in the sources tab. So we need that show media thing, uh, which I don't even know where the hell it would be. Beta, no, not beta, probably. It's like static crunch roll or something, right? Common uh, show media. No, that's not what we want uh, in JS. Components, ads enable, tracking modules, application. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now we can press a magic button, pretty print, and we'll get actually a nicely printed, uh, also obfuscated um, source code. But that doesn't mean we cannot understand what's going on here. So there's some timeout stuff going on. Um, right, okay, so the question is how the hell get subtitles, real extract, downloading web page, mobile web, uh, they're using the mobile web page for that? Really? That's, that's an interesting, right. that's actually a possibility. Is the mobile page just gives out the episode directly? This link rel canonical. Yeah, that's the same one, right? At least looks like. Okay. Um, da -da -da, download web page. Okay, so downloads the web page. It show media trailer notice. That is not present. Um, trader not is okay. If it's present, then it raises error. Okay, so we don't care about that. Page messaging box controller add item uh, again. If it's there, control return an error. Okay, so this is the I guess captcha or probably something like this. So video title is just extracted from uh, text as the video title thing. Um, I guess not, not uh, this is probably the property they use, right? So it's just item prop title, okay. Um, item prop title, yeah, there you go. Okay, so there's the title. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, we can just rewrite, uh, start rewriting that here, right? So we get episode is what we want. So we need the URL, which we get somehow. Um, so what we need is, wait a second, actually remove too much. So we got the episode ID. I don't care about file name right now, right? So our URL um, let's call it app URL is going to be episode URL just for starters. We don't care about all of that stuff. So let us reverse the um, uh, cruncher the YouTube DL thing. Right, so we have the uh, app URL. There you go. And uh, what we need is we need to load the load episode page, right? So, I mean, yeah, I guess we don't need to store it because we can just do that. There you go. Um, okay, so we get the data, I guess. Yeah, let's load it into Cheerio as well. And we already have the title and description, right? I don't think we can actually, we need any of that here. So this is the video title, video description, upload date, uh, I guess. Upload date might be interesting, but now nah, we don't care about that as well. Okay, so we get that. We load it into Cheerio. Um, let's see, available formats. Sh 
show media. Okay, let's see what is that show media. Uh, start. Ah, there you go. That's actually so. There's the flash player config URL. There's a thing here. So that looks like something we might want to use. Extract attribute. So this is finds token show media. Um. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is token show. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. And then there is this video thing, and I guess um, text link report video. What does it take from here? It takes show media and then everything that is after that, basically. Okay, I don't think free trial. Okay, so it skips the paid versions here. We don't care about that for now. Right, formats, um, media ID, uh, video ID, where does it get the video ID here? Uh, video uploader, video title, video description, video upload date. Um, okay, where the hell is video ID, mob G group, video ID. Is there a video ID here? No, there is not. Right, what is this mob j? Ah, okay, valid URL, URL, and uh, okay. So this is regex result essentially, right? And what is this valid URL thing? And what the hell is video ID here? Um, let us see again the requests. Um, I guess this is the ID then, maybe? No, wait a second. <laughs> I mean, we can, of course, just fork or like clone it and edit it and just see what the hell is going on. So let's see video ID for sub name. Downloading mobile web page. Um, get description. Description. Uh, so why exactly do I need all of that stuff? Content type, download XML. Okay, so first it gets this sanitized. So this is the um, thing we're interested in, right? So we don't actually care about that for now. Const um, XML URL, let's call it this way. So then there's this quality, there is format, and there is media ID. So those are the ones that we are interested in. So video format was the one that they took from this available formats, right? I guess we actually um, actually do need the Cheerio. Um, okay, so load into Cheerio. And in this case, uh, find available formats. So what we want to do is we want to find those A that has, mm, okay, let me see, Cheerio. There was a way to select the arbitrary property matching, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Selector, um, let me think, yeah, there you go, class orange. So we need that um, token. But this regex says that it should be token equals show media. Is it equals? It's not equals, right? Because there's, so this is A that ends with, a, so it's, it's an A tag. Then we have a token that is equal show media. Then there's a dot. Why is there a dot? Is there anything like this here? Show media. Show media video player. Show media header trail video. Video player. Okay, there's ah there we ah okay I see. So that 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 is what we want, right? Which means it should um, okay. Um, jQuery selector. I mean, it's actually like DOM select, but whatever. jQuery has a pretty good docs about selectors, so we're gonna look at that. Um, and then should be starts with. I think it's uh, yeah, this one. Okay, so we need that, right? Um, <clears throat> and then each 
uh, index elements. So let's say const formats this and then I think they just use this selector. Yeah, and then basically anything after dot is whatever the thing is. So we're going to take element attribute uh, show media const uh, no nope, const uh, format. Uh, yes, and then formats push format format. There we go. So log format. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to nope. const URL, you're just going to be empty, I'm just going to make this function work with, you know, somehow. And uh, I'm just going to take our home page and in our um, main page, I'm just remove that and we'll say uh, Crunchyroll uh, get episodes URL. And then the URL is, for example, what we used here, right? So copy that. Whoops, that is a bit. Yeah, that's that that copied a bit too much, but whatever, we can clean it up. So remove this. Okay, so now we have uh, basically one once we load the page, we should actually uh, or once we start the app, yarn start, we should uh, see the logs and request that sends uh, subtitles is not defined. Yeah, undefined, undefined, undefined. Okay, um, what am I doing wrong here? Let us try. So that why is it not? Okay, let's see. Um, is there an outer outer HTML? If you want to return outer HTML, you can use dot HTML. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we can just say yeah, for now like this and see if that worked. Should share theoretically see an array with uh, selected elements, right? There we go. And those are so children is okay. Is there a way to next parent? Mm, yeah, I think we can just say. What can I say? This will select all those a with a. Uh, class that or token that starts in show media, right? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, I guess we can just say maybe like this. So parent HTML. I think they all will have the same parent. So let's see how that works. Okay, yeah, they all have Why is it selects like five? Is it is it all the same? Div. Div div. Okay. But I mean, theoretically, wait a second. I'm I'm confused. So this should be the a that is selected, right? Which means that if we have a look at the HTML, we should see that inner HTML which has whatever blah blah quality. Yeah, exactly. So this is our Okay, what am I doing wrong here? So okay, well, first of all, text format label, let's make it a bit more complicated or human readable. Let's, let's call it this way format ID. Um, yeah, I guess const element, I mean, okay, v8 will probably optimize that automatically. Um, token, right? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I just use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's like, <clears throat> um, <coughs> I apologize. Uh, that is what I usually happens with my code is like, why is it not working? Oh, I guess because I'm an idiot and use the wrong property over here. Um, okay, format ID label. Right. So now if we start that we should actually see the nice list of formats. There we go. And yep, exactly. So and then we need to replace this bit. Um, so we actually need to replace um, whoops, that's a bit too much with nothing. And I think they also trim that like remove the P from the end. 
yeah so they only are interested in whatever is i guess we could um yeah why not let's let's just re replace so we are interested in replacing p that is on the end right so whoops there we go so in theory what are you not liking here um i guess formatting right um yes yeah there you go okay so theoretically we should now get a nice list of formats uh with nice ids and uh, nice labels yes there you go sd 720 uh show media video playback problem okay so if it's we actually want to filter them right so filter uh no i cannot do it like this so basically what we need here is to say if um okay we need to say token how we get that uh const token do this here we just say token replace replace right that should be sufficient but if token um so we need um let me think i mean we could just use a regular expression here but token let's just go for includes show media no let me let me just copy it because i'm afraid to do that stupid mistake again show show media does not include uh, this we just return right because we don't care about the formats that don't have the actual format okay there we go so yep and 1080p is the maximum one i guess we don't actually care about the label here in this case because like who cares you can you can tell without any problem that it's actually um you know what 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 it is so we're just gonna use format id here cool let me restart that there we go cool so we now have the formats um now what we need to do is we need to figure out that video id thing um so this is our url i guess const formats we're just gonna take formats uh from zero because you know whatever this is gonna be format uh what is video quality thing so stream formats uh okay so it's the same const uh, yeah we can just pasted here as well right form so now we're interested into the video id um right okay so what the hell is id now um so they take it from the regular expression that is comes from here so i guess i'm gonna close those and then let's go have a look what is this valid um url thing self which it uh crunch all valid url ah there you go id is uh everything that is after id but i don't really have anything after id do i i mean the url i'm use here is is this id no i don't know let's see okay let us read the regex um so https prefix www or m which is for mobile right there's the URL, which is crunchyroll.com fr, question mark, and then this media. Then there is possibly ID, and then everything else is ID, right? So basically, theoretically, our ID should be that stuff. I think so. Let, let's give it a shot. So const ID. Just take episode uh, URL and uh, for now we're just gonna go with replace crunchyroll.com. Um, I think we actually have it as a what uh, base URL, yeah. Base URL with nothing. So we got that. And then console log XML URL. So we should see some sort of URL over here right now. And uh, we're gonna try to open that and see if that actually works. Um, copy link address, now an error while processing. Okay, uh, maybe, 
no media id um is it episode four i mean yeah that that seems too too complicated for an id is this the id wait xml what now come on stop doing this stuff Crunchyroll board yeah so the id is the last digits of it right oh yeah it's, it only says did yeah okay so basically whatever are the digits in the url is what we're interested in so it's exactly what we're gonna do um let me think what would be the best way to extract them i mean they are always going to be in the end as far as i understand right there can be a slash or there can be and yeah, so basically, da, da, da. I, I think in our case, there's always going to be at the very end, right? Because all our URLs are uh, kind of sanitized. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that, um, okay, where's my MDN regex? I need my regex reference. There we go. Okay, so we got our id regex let's call it this way this is basically gonna be uh, zero through nine plus and it's gonna be at the end right so and uh, we actually should be doing this global and then what we need to say is id regex uh, exec app id uh, okay ID matches console log see if that actually matches I mean that's actually that's a stupid way of doing that let's use the nice regex tool um, regex um, I'm always forgetting was it reg regex 101 yeah that's a good one so we can do that uh, come on okay so we got this is the URL and this is our regex and it matches exactly what we want cool um, so the match should be um, okay I'm always forgetting the format for JavaScript matches so we're gonna just run it and see I think it's first one like yeah okay zero so which means const id equals id matches zero okay that means that okay let's first kill it get the url try to open it again i guess in this case we can just copy that curl yep okay blocking click through url uh, what is this deploy default okay that is some maybe i am still missing something um let's see okay this is the url thing okay so this is the xml thing that they do compatible current page in code utf8 sanitized request okay this is something else so what is uh from utils uh-huh Let's see, sanitized, uh, where's the utils actually? There you go, utils. I'm guessing it needs something like a refer probably. Request sanitize URL. Okay, now that's just sanitizing the URL, which is not exactly helpful for us. So, okay, first of all, header. Um, okay, let us, let us do the request here. So const data as xml data await axios get now you know what we get since we're going to be doing this so it's going to be xml url headers um so we need content type. Blur, come on there you go content type right that no okay Yes, um, XML data, log that. And uh, content type, do they do anything else? So download XML, 
blah, 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 stream data, find preload. Okay, so they only do content type. So let's let's try it with content type to see, oh, it, it, nope. And see if that actually works. I mean, because it might be just one header, you know. Um, no, it doesn't. So there should be a field called preload st stream info, right? Video ID, stream format, stream quality. Stream format should include P. Okay, this is one thing. So it should be P. And uh, video stream, stream format. No, wait, this is something. No, this is different. This is not. Okay, this is this seems correct. So what are we missing? Current page. Parse URL and cut current page URL. Maybe it needs a refer. Let's let's try setting a refer. Refer is gonna be um, episode URL, right? It's not that it's it's not that it's very hard to like fake it, but a lot of websites do uh, treat like it's uh, most of the content are only giving back through refer. If, if it's basically coming from their own website. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case, at least for now. Okay, um, right, ref, I, did I just screwed it up? Um, referer header, um, is it just a refer or? Yeah, let, let us, did I misspell it? Yes, I did, of, co of course I did. That's why I like autocomplete. Because <laughs> you don't need to think if you misspelled anything or not. Uh, refer settings. Ah, right. We cannot do the um, requests from the uh, with the refer from the um, UI thread, right? So we have to run this in Node, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. The question is, will it actually work or not? So what I am gonna do now is I'm gonna create a test case. I think. Because like right now I don't um, so let, let's do this create index test JS. So okay, and this is exactly what we want to run there. So const crunch your all um, we export it as default, yeah. Require um, this gonna be source RP crunch your all, right? And uh, theoretically, if I do node test JS right now, um, unexpected token import, right? Because we're using Babel. Um, let me think. So we actually need to do the same register hook here. Yeah, which is a bit annoying, but a eh? um, require Babel register. And uh, after that, um, pouch DB now pouch DB is bugging out. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, because we use Oh, come on. I just want to know if that thing will work or not. Um, right. Okay. I guess we're gonna assemble the test case like this. So I guess I'll just copy the whole function. Const to sync. Uh, const get episodes equals a sync episode. You go and I'll format that. I don't care about returns actually right now. And uh, in this case, we can close that. We can just copy this thing, save that. And uh, if we run no test, um, Axios is not defined, yeah, of course. Um, and we need Cheerio as well, right? So those are the two that we need here, uh, but it's not import. Require, um, there we go. So what do we get here? We get the exactly same thing. Okay, so we're missing something for sure. Now time to figure out what the hell are we missing here. Okay, um, this is not what I want. Content type application, uh, you're encoded. Uh, stream, yeah, so they, then they just look for the, um, what is this default thing? That looks like a X, um, X pass selector exactly. So stream rec sanitize request. Mm, I guess we are missing something here. 
So this is the, yeah, this is the used video ID format and quality here. And then, okay, let's have a look at this sanitize request function again. Maybe I missed something. Right, uh, YouTube DL, utils, some Python reverse engineering, why not? Uh, args, okay, compat URL lib, what is this? This, like, is it some sort of URL lib thing that is compatible? Um, where's, where's the import for it? Compat from dot compat. I guess it is URL lib, right? Sanitized um, request. Yes. So it just requests sanitize URL. Okay. What does this do? HTTP URL starts with else URL. Okay. This is this seems straightforward. Prepend protocol less URL with HTTP. Okay. And then we give it args. Okay. So URL lib. Um, request. Let's have a look how the URL lib works and uh, what the hell am I missing here in this case. So yeah, there you go. Request URL data and then headers. So in this case, we say uh, compat URL and codes. Ah, ah, is this what we're missing? So we don't actually care about the refer, but wait a second, Axios. So we need to say that the current page is URL. Um, da -da 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 so what's the data or body or whatever it was called? No, data. Is it data? Yeah, it is data. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Current URL, URL. I think we don't actually need those quotes. Yes. Uh, yeah, and then current page. That should be episode URL. Is it a get request here or a sanitized request? Download XML. So let's have a look at this download XML thing. Uh, XML video ID. No, wait, there's just some calls to it as well. Where's, where's the definition of it? With what the hell? It's only calls of the function, but where's the definition for it? Real extract. That's not how Python works. Login, download, web page. Um, maybe it's not, no, wait, it should be somewhere here, right? Okay, that, okay, wait a second. So this is called inside of, ta -ta, come on, uh, Crunchyroll doesn't extend anything. So it theoretically should be defined within this class. So where the hell is it? Video ID, note, query, note, Stream request video ID. Okay, you know what? Let's try doing that. Um, self download, download, download. Yes, I need the definition, please. You can see that is used in a lot of places. Um, yes. Hey, maybe it's a good idea to just clone the project and see. Okay, so since it's it's used in a lot of places, I assume it should be defined somewhere in those are all extractors. Sort least recently indexed probably. No, extractor, extractor, extractor. Next, extractor, extractor, extractor. All extractors again. Again. And again. And again, and again, <laughs> come on. Nope. Nope. What the? Hey, right. Okay. Now I am confused. Um, download XML. 
so I guess we actually need uh, was it def in Python I think right for function definitions yeah so this is there real extract no I wanna what the hell maybe like this <gasps> there we go I found it extractor common okay oh, my mouse come on turn back on stop doing that um okay there we go download xml self url request video id xml download web page url request video id note error encoding data headers uh query okay so now we need this download web page thing i assume it's also there Download web page, there we go, and uh, download web page. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> how many levels of abstractions does this have? Um, data header query, so it just passes it to this pay thing. Um, no, this is not what we want. Self request forwarded for um, web page request web page so we got that thing if query if data uh, data headers so okay I closed it a bit too quickly data class and URL data must be an object specifying uh, data to send to server I mean I assume that it's gonna be a post request then right because you can't really send data and get requests, as far as I know, at least. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Um, method, method, nope, post. Um, no, still something is not quite correct. Um, but we actually at least know what we're looking for. So if we take a look here at the network and uh, filter by XML headers. So this is, yeah, there you go. This is the request, right? Uh, media ID, video format, video quality, autoplay, Crunchyroll, website, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see. This, this actually, okay, form it. So first of all, it's a post request. Second of all, uh, okay, so we get this config thing, which yeah, it has way more things here. Uh, pop out message. This is bonkers that we don't really care about. Autoplay one, video quality 61. What the? Video format 103. Okay, there's some weird stuff going on. Query string, yeah, there you go. Media ID, video format, video quality. Uh, current format, okay, so cookies content type refer yeah I guess refer ah, may, maybe we should try does it care about refer uh, that yeah that is I copied the whole thing so maybe it wants refer to be proper refer I don't know nope okay but at least so let's see media ID we have Maybe this record thing. Yeah, we, we got it, right? So this seems to be, yeah. So it's exactly the same. Media ID, video formats, autoplay. Um, let's try, let's try maybe adding more parameters to it. I don't know. So we got, um, split it a bit maybe. Media ID, video format and um, here so what do we have we have how to play one and have Crunchyroll website and we don't need that probably we don't need that probably we maybe need that format nope that doesn't change anything okay so what are we doing wrong here? Um, so we got the request URL. We got the method post. 
we got i mean we have some cookies here but they should matter because as far as i understand the youtube dl doesn't actually set any cookies here headers query data um okay where's the download thing called there we go request video id so why does it need the video id so download this page video id L screen instance URL request and date request data data header. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, but we don't have any headers, do we? So we have the whoop, we have the data there, which is this current page URL. URL in oh, it should be wait, it should be a form thing, right? Maybe that's the problem. Um, form. Uh, content type, picture, form encoded. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Search params, no, this is the params, query string. Yeah, there you go, that's what we wanna do, right? So, um, const query string, so we get this query string and then we need to use query string, stringify, and then this is our problem. Now, theoretically, if I didn't screw anything up, come on, <gasps> uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yay, works, cool. So this was the problem. Um, so we can actually take that, put it over uh, here. So import query string from query string. And now here, what we need to do is we don't need this refer. We don't care about that anymore. We need a method um, post, right? So we're posting that stuff. And uh, what do we need? We need data, this stuff, right? And we can also split um, this part here. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I think that should be working. <clears throat> so let's start and theoretically, we should see that XML now in the console, right? There you go. Okay. Um, and then in this case, what we're uh, there's subtitles data there as well. So this is actually all we ever wanted. Okay, um, so what we need is, um, question is, does Cheerio works with XML as well, Cheerio? Because that would be sweet, so we need to drag another library here. Um, this is it. I mean, theoretically it should, right? So let's just try throwing it in. Um, let's call it double, dot, let's call it dollar X. So it's gonna be Cheerio loads xml data and then what we need is um what is the wait a second you know what um just gonna take this stuff and copy all of that paste it here set syntax to um come on xml yes there we go Okay, so let's see what they actually extract from here. They look for default preload stream info. Stream info. That seems to be... Preload. Okay, that's the default. Okay, you know what? Can I format? No. Format, no. Beautify, no. Okay. Um, I think, let's see, I think Adam has the formatting for XML files, right? So we're gonna go with that. Um, yeah, some works, okay. Uh, set syntax XML, format, now nah, that's not prettier, beautify, yes, there you go. Okay, cool, uh, we can copy that back here. Nice, okay, so now it's actually way more readable. So we need this default preload. Uh, okay, we can kill that for now. So yeah, this is the top level. And then what we need is stream info. 
right? So this is uh, stream info. Let's do this and let's see that actually, if it actually works fine with just plain XML. Ton, 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 ton. Uh, set a class preload on my okay so it does not work with it because it does oh yeah because the D okay XML, yeah makes sense now so basically cheerio okay let's see node.js xml how do we xml to js best module to work with xml that sounds good xml to js cheerio yeah cheerio it works only with html which is not strict which doesn't actually uh, help here so let us see I mean we can use regex but the yeah let's try let's try that why not CR not XML to JS new XML to JS parser so you can get this parse string from it right import uh, parse string from here which means that here we need to say parse string. How does it work after that? XML error result. So this is, it's a synchronous and it doesn't seem to be supporting promises. It looks like, yeah, okay. See, okay, um, is it parse string error result? Okay, error result. Error, console, error, error, otherwise, console log res. So this is what we want to see, and we don't care about this part now. Uh, whoops, that was the same command. I didn't mean to execute that. Uh, start, please. Okay. There we go. So theoretically, we should be able to just refer it as an object so i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna create an api yeah, i guess let's call it no we don't need a new api here right we just need the promisified function um so we don't care about this anymore which means that uh yeah i mean yeah no i don't want to do another Let's just create an inline function. That should be fine. Okay. Const parse XML, which should be a function that takes in data and returns promise, which resolve, um, resolve reject which does parse string, no, no, parse string, data, error result, and then if it's error, we're gonna call reject error. Otherwise, we're gonna say resolve result, right? That That's actually all we need, so there's no need for anything fancy here. Now we're gonna await parse XML, XML data const XML object, let's call it this way. So we're gonna do that. Format that stuff, yes, that looks much better. And um, uh, that means, okay, let's see what do we actually need to grab from there. So we need this stream info, okay. Stream info, which will be XML object. Um, I closed it already, right? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Let's just log to make sure that it actually works. And to see the structure, XML object, yarn start. There you go, come on. Okay, so what we need is stream info first. So there's gonna be from config, config is it? Yeah, and then we need default preload, which I assume is exactly what it sounds like. Yep, there we go, default preload. 
So that, and it's an array, so it always seems to be length one. So we're gonna say um, zero, and then stream info, right? Stream info. Let's log that stuff and uh, see if that actually works. I imagine it might throw occasionally when the uh, XML return is not as what we expect it to be, and it should be actually from zero as well. So this is what we want. Um, video, okay, wait a second, did I close it? No, I didn't, okay, cool. Uh, so video, encode quality format. So we got a bunch of video encode ID. So this is what we're interested in. Why are we video encode IDs? Okay. Stream info file. Okay, I don't know why we need that ID here first, but um, okay, so we got so we got that we need. Okay, let let let's grab that ID. Why not video stream ID? That's gonna be stream info. Uh, what was it? Uh, video encode ID. Video encode ID from uh, first one. No, it's it shouldn't be the first one it should be an array, right? So we're just gonna leave it at that because it's just an array of strings, which is exactly what they do here, right? So they just append it. If video encode and video encode is continue, otherwise append it. Yes, but they only take x pass text first one. Okay, whatever, you know what, let's just keep the array for now. File, okay, then grab the file. Um, stream file, let's go this way, stream info um, file from zero, whatever, let's take the first one. I think the, it looks like they only take the first one. Extract M3U formats. HLS, fatal false, entry protocol, entry native. So this looks like the header and this looks like video ID. Ah, this is why, no, this is encode ID. This is something different. I don't even know if we need that anymore. Metadata, okay. Right, okay, let's, let's actually see what happens if we open that URL. Is that actually what we want? And will it actually let us, um, Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This is this is the URL that we're parsing now, right? And if I open that, so this is the URL we got from there. And this is the URL that it returns. No, that looks different. Yeah, it's definitely, although it's pretty close, DL, V, is it just, no, so there's some V1A1 policy. They seem to be slightly different. Okay, here's the question. What else do we need to do there? Okay, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. Okay, let's see. Video file starts with HTTP. File extend extract M3. Let's have a look at that. So where does this comes from? This is the thing. Download web page handle, entry URL, the URL, note, error note, fatal. So they just fetch it. Uh, parse formats. Okay, let's actually have a look. Download what's in that file. This is a bunch of other links. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to fetch this URL again. That is a lot of URL fetching. Okay, we don't need that for now, so I'm gonna command it out. Okay, so which means, then we say data, um, stream file data, let's call it this way. Await Axios, uh, no, what the hell? Axios, there you go. Um, in this case, we're just gonna get stream file, right? Console log stream file data. That's what I wanna see. And uh, in theory, we should now see that 
file in our console. Cool, okay. So that seems to be like three lines with Codex. How are they actually different? CloudFront, CloudFront. Is it just like a different service for it? Okay, so why, why, what do they do with it? Um, video file formats extend M3U native. Extract M3 formats. Okay, let's see. So what do they do? They download this page. If it's false, then it just returns the empty array. Otherwise, it takes the doc, it gets the URL, parse M3 formats. Ah, there we go. It's right below. If in doc, Adobe Flash access. Okay, so CM, we don't have that, right? Yeah. It's good. I mean, I guess we don't care for now about that. We're going to see if that actually works. Uh, medium playlist as is. Stream in from build stream name. Well, that is a one complex damn function. Um, I'm actually curious what the hell is those links? Copy link address. And uh, no, I don't want to open it in Vox. I do I have a VLC actually is a good question. Yes, I do have a VLC. So let's try that maybe. Yes, check automatically. I haven't launched it in ages, but um, theoretically that may remove the sound and uh, Oops, I think it's well, it is seems to be frozen completely for some reason. Please don't kill my computer. Okay, bandwidth codex. So the codex seems to be exactly the same, right? And bandwidth, and, and I mean, it's, it looks like it's the same files, basically. Maybe, maybe they are all equivalent. So Let's have a look. So what do they do here is we take that, they take the stream find, FP Live, net, some weird FP Live stuff going on, metadata. Get me some weird don't care about okay, the metadata yeah, but we we already did that. Why do they do that again? So we need to parse out the subtitles, yes, but this is something we can do uh, from the same object I think right because it, it has the subtitles here uh, skin um, there was like an in the preload again I think subtitles yeah Blip. nope no that's not what I want to see I want to see subtitles array and there is four subtitles media ID and they are Okay, there's a link with a language name here, right? I guess this will download the subtitles. So maybe maybe you can just paste them. I mean, we can try that. Okay, so basically what we need to do for the stream file is if we do it, okay, split by slash n. And that theoretically should give us five lines maybe not by slash n maybe split it by hash because yeah right now we get back basically line by line by hash x maybe okay you know what nojs m3u parser there ought to be an m3u parser out there playlist parser yes there you go um blah 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 right parse m3u parse new audio audio playlist so i yes okay 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 there we go mm, that seems good but it's been updated like two years ago a year ago and this is not much but i mean i guess it's a it's a pretty straightforward format right so let us um yarn odds playlist parser let's go with that because why not? So, import 
import from Thales parser. There we go. Which means that in this case, we need to say, um, how's it working? Uh, blah, 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 parsers M3U. Okay, playlist parsers. We actually can just do this M3U, right? And here say what M3U uh, parse um, stream file data const um, is it yeah okay playlist console log playlist so theoretically whoop, come on uh, we should now see nice uh, playlist here afterwards so we should get the config objects first and then the playlist yes Cool. So, okay, obviously there's no artist and everything and the title is actually the X whatever thing, but we're only interested in the last file, right? So we can just say that um, URL is playlist pop file, right? Const results and return result so we just do it this and console log result just to control it and uh, you can kill that we definitely don't need that part so let's see um so that is not defined yeah okay 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 i got it i got it um let's make it empty string restart There we go. So we actually get a nice, exactly same URL as far as I can tell. Um, okay, kill that, we don't need it anymore. So this is the URL from the YouTube DL and uh, if we copy that and compare them, they are exactly the same. So congratulations, we just did it. Now, subtitles. Um, Yes, so let's see, it was in the preload as well, it was subtitles, so we need that. So this uh, preload, stream info, and then we need um, why that's a very weird way of breaking it. So let's do it this way. Const preload info, let's do, no, I mean, we can just call it preload, right? So preloads and then const subtitles info is going to be preload uh, dot subtitles from zero. So fetch uh, media URLs, and then construct response. Let's call it this way. And uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay, now we need to get subtitles, which I assume subtitles from zero, subtitle. Okay, so subtitles from zero, subtitle. This is an array of things. Um, I guess we can just map Yeah, okay, so for now, let's just uh, pick English subtitles. Const English subs, uh, let's do it subtitles info. Fil uh, no, first we're gonna map um, S into S dollar, right? Because this is what we have here. So all of them is like dollar and then stuff. Then uh, we are going to filter as by title that includes English as title includes English. We don't care about US non US It's just as long as it's English in this case. And then we're just gonna take the first one and we're gonna say file right link. Okay, link format. There we go. And subtitle is going to be, 
English subs. Okay. There we go. And we actually have uh, subtitles as well. So now the question is, will that actually work? Uh, we are gonna find out in a second. So I'm gonna remove that and revert it to our uh, normal workflow. And we're gonna try to um, play some episode of something. See if that actually works. So yeah, let's go with the, this one, um, episode one. malformed ASS script, I guess. Why is it so freaking huge? Okay, the video does work, so the subtitles don't. Um, and it says malformed ASS here, okay. Um, let me revert this. So we are gonna try to actually load that. Let's see, first of all, how does the subtitles work in Crunchyroll? Uh, sorry, in, in YouTube DL. Extract subtitles, yes, please. Uh, tell me how you do that. Downloader, get prompts, write subtitles, false, get prompts, list subtitles, get subtitles. What? Um, self extract video ID web page. Video ID web page, okay. Self downloader, prompts, get write subtitles. Okay, oh, this checks if we need to save subtitles, your list subtitles, and then it calls this underscore get subtitles. Not in play. Oh, this is cop. Man, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, okay, yeah, please duplicate this. Extract subtitles. There you go. Okay, uh, convert subtitles to ASS. Tree form from string subtitle. Um, what is this subtitle thing? Web page. Web page is what? Where do we get that web page from? Uh, download. Okay, so this is direct. They extracted from that page. Really? Okay, then. Um, SSID. Okay, I guess they can. You can get SSID from there. <laughs> Compat E3 from, uh, okay, let us, that seems like a, a bit of a waste of time. Okay, let, you know what, let's first, this, this is our subtitle URL. So what happens if I paste it here? Um, okay, let's curl it and see the output. That seems like encoded something, IV and data. Subtitle ID. Okay, I guess that's why they extracted from the page. <laughs> right. Um, extract subtitles video ID web page. Okay, so compat. Yeah, this is what we want. What does this do? Compare E3 from substring. Okay, so this does some E3 subroot. So I guess this is what we want. Output script info uh, title blah blah blah. Seems like a really construction of subtitles from. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Subtitles, video ID. So this extract subtitles. Yes, self subtitle. It has two parameters. Oh, because it's an underscore. Uh, okay. Okay, so that calls. Um, okay, now we have to go to common again, right? Extractor common pi. Let's see. So, okay, uh, yes, oh, whoops, extract subtitles, yeah, so and then it calls get subtitles. And here it's not implemented, which means it's going to be implemented here. Get subtitles, there we go, video ID, web page, cool. So, SSID, and then that's what we are interested in. And, ah, okay, so it's another request. Yeah, uh, that is a lot of requests, but um, okay. I mean, we can't really do anything about that. Is it actually, wait a second. We can get the same SSID uh, from, yeah, I mean, this is, this is exactly what we are getting 
from that XML. So why are they doing another request? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, now the thing is uh, subtitle ID. So there is subtitle ID, IV, and data. Yes, subtitle data. Okay. Uh, IV decrypt subtitles. This is the interesting bit. Byte to int list, base 64 decode. Okay. Oh, um, okay, so we need to actually parse the. Um, yeah, so this was link. Okay, and uh, const data subs data. Um, await axios get uh, English subs. So for now, let's just go for that. And then const subs. Um, Object. Let's call it like this. Await parse XML XML data. Uh, no, sorry, subs data. Right. Console log subs object. So if we start it, so we should see the um, XML object right now. Yes, there we go. Subtitle IV data. So we're interested in data. Um, yeah, decrypt. There we go. IV. I uh, know we're interested in both IV and data too. Okay, so we need data. Okay, cool. Um, so const subs data is going to be a subs object. Um, I guess we can just say dot data pop on subs IV, whatever that is, subs object IV pop, right? And um, ID, I mean, yeah, why not? Let's let's store ID for now as well. Subs ID, um, subs object dollar uh, pop. I think that's it. No. Dollar ID, there we go. Um, okay, so we got those parts. No, I even don't like this part. Already has been declared. Okay. Subs uh, encrypted data. Let's call it this way. Right. So bytes to int list. So base sixty four decode. Node base sixty four uh, decode. I think there is an in 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 uh, integrated node thing, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's probably buffers or something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so let us try this. Um, const from uh, subs and data base 64. And since it's a buffer, then we need to say to string, right? So buff, let's see. Um, theoretically, we should now see something sensible there. Unless the no, I mean, it looks like base 64. So theoretically, it should work fine. Can read property ID of undefined. Uh, 156. Um, I guess I screwed up somewhere. Console log subs object. Let's have a look at it again. <coughs> Okay, uh, can I pop a find find subtitle? Oh, ah, right, okay, subs object, subtitle, that's how it should be. I actually thought we we're going to be doing authentication, but, um, and you know, it's going to be quite easy to extract the links ourselves, but uh, I guess it wasn't that easy. <laughs> but I mean, we almost did it. Right, what the hell is that? That doesn't seem correct. But I mean, okay, bytes to int list. Encode UTF-8. I mean, it should be UTF-8 anyway, right? Um, maybe it is because, wait a second. Um, 
subs and data. The question is, uh, let's try that. Wait, am I encoding it or decoding? Am I doing stupid stuff again? Or do I have to say to ASCII decoded? I guess I have to say to ASCII, right? Yeah, this is definitely base 64. So I guess I need to say to string to ASCII. So will that fix it? Yeah, that definitely looks better, but I'm not sure I can make sense of it. Okay, uh, let's see what actually happens next. So they do decode both, which means subs decoded data and uh, subs decoded IV. So this is going to be subs IV. Um, obfuscate key aux obfuscate key id and id is what exactly decrypt subtitles decrypt uh, subtitles data id and in this case id is what where is it id or no ah, id is the one in okay so it's exactly the um key is ID and then they take those bunch of numbers. Okay, there's some crypto going on here. ISCBC decrypt. So it's an AES encrypt. <laughs> I mean, Crunchyroll, seriously, why the hell would you encrypt the path to subtitle? Like, <laughs> okay, and it got cracked anyway, cool. Um, okay, I guess I start a Python to JavaScript compiler because I don't I don't want to do it manually. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong button. Um, transcript Python. No, that's not what I want. I wanted to convert code PJS. Yes, there you go. There's always something like this. Translator, uh, supported modules, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, Python, okay, Jiffy, yes, client side, Jiffy. Get, okay, so how do I use it? I just need to convert a bunch of functions. By pip install Jiffy, yes, let us, let us, let us do that. I mean, as much as I am okay with reading Python, I don't really particularly enjoy doing that manually <laughs> okay uh, that is gonna be obfuscate pi and uh, yeah yeah sort of and this is gonna be obfuscate key pi okay um, so then wait a second where is it gfi Gfi obfuscate pi, right? Ls, okay, so it created obfuscate js. Uh, yeah, that is very helpful. That That's not how JavaScript works. <laughs> like, seriously? Um... I guess maybe it doesn't know how to construct to Python K Python to JavaScript. Yes, I can get that. So it doesn't it doesn't seem to actually convert anything. Which is a bit of a shame, but okay, I mean okay, we we can live with that. Um yeah, I'll just remove both of them. Okay. Now, let us get into um, crypto stuff. Obfuscate key aux. Yes, let us copy this function and uh, try to rewrite it ourselves. I mean, because why the hell not? 
Okay, const obfuscate. We are gonna go with uh, camel case. Um, now, um, output list start. So Python. What does Python list does? I think it creates a list of of specific length, right? Data structures list. Um, Python list. List sequence. So what do they pass into it? Uh, they pass obfuscate oaks, obfuscate oaks. Ah, okay, so this is an array essentially. And in this case, this should be just start for range count. So while count, um, okay, I guess we can just do for let i equal zero, i lower than count, i plus plus. Right, output push output minus one plus output minus two. Cut off start values. Um, this is what slice two to end, right? So we just remove this and then we need um, output map x so that x modula plus 33 something like that whoops let result um, yeah i guess let output start Output, um, I guess we can just do this, right? Return, yeah, there you go. And we can do it const, yes, you guys are gonna need that. Okay, and then we got the other function, which is obfuscate key, which is a bit trickier. Uh, some I'm really happy that I'm not the one who needs to do <laughs> all that crypto stuff um, okay obfuscate key again camel case uh, we got key let's see how we don't need those so cons num one is gonna be math floor um, math pow is it math pow Uh, base number returns the expression p divided power two to twenty five. Um, math sqrt. I sure as hell hope that JavaScript has enough enough precision to actually do something like this. Let us let us see if that actually works. I'm very curious myself. Okay, uh, const prefix, int list to bytes. Okay, so this is actually an array one and two. And then int list to bytes. <coughs> oh, apologize. Uh, okay, what is this function actually? Is it a Python default function? <laughs> Um, no, it doesn't seem so. It looks like it's, yeah, come on. Uh, that looks like their custom function, right? Um, let's see, int list, yeah, okay, so it's from the utils. Let's see, utils, int list to bytes, what does this do? Compat structure pack, okay. 
Then at this point, I don't know, maybe it was easier to just leave the YouTube DL there. But stress in the strategy object trees to JSON compatible values. Hmm. I'm not sure what that does. In float string list dict. Hmm. Okay, I mean bytes to insha. Okay, we need encode ASCII digest. Wait, why do they? So they, no, wait, that's a prefix, right? So they take the. <coughs> They take, uh, okay, this is the prefix and they convert it to string, which is what we actually did with the buffer, right? And this is what we wanna do here, the same. So we take that and uh, obfuscate key oaks. base 64 so yeah no wait this is yeah okay right this is still we take the number and convert it to ASCII and then here that should be the reverse way wait am I confusing this again um, so bytes to int list is wait a second uh, yeah okay so this is actually whoops no no there we go so this is where we want to use that right so let's call it sha sha1 and then this is where we need to okay no js sha1 um wait i think it wasn't in, in no it, it wasn't crypto i don't need third-party libraries for that um SHA one uh show is it oh come on creating SHA one yes so we need crypto all of a sudden we're going into the cryptography here yep I mean not much of a cryptography because all the algorithms are already written for us but a um generator shs okay so yeah let's let's just use this function because why not const sha1 takes in data and generator digest hex yes now format that so prefix string from number four so this actually i mean Theoretically, it should be just a number, right? Anyway, because a Python doesn't really do anything to it anyway. Okay, so, and this is the, wait a second, let me have a look. So bytes to int list is buffer from, which means that int to bytes should be buffer. Okay, um, wait a second, what was it? Node.js base 64. That was this nice uh, new buffer. So two base 64, yeah, there you go. I guess we need the base 64. I am not sure I'm doing this quite correctly, but let's see. And uh, from SHA1, SHA. So this actually should be hash, not SHA, right? Hash, and then <clears throat> extend by uh, 256 bits. That is probably not how we need to do that in, in JavaScript. Okay. <laughs> Man. I don't want to do all that cryptography and uh, oh god is it oh and z leap compression there you got yeah that is so wait 
we decrypt the subtitles, what happens next? Get the subtitles, real extract. Wait a second, this is utils. Um, decrypt subtitles. So subtitle and then decode. So this is the, like subtitle string. They just encrypted and put it into the, seriously? Extract subtitle. Uh, convert subtitle to, yeah, for example. So if we take a look at this one, it, it's literally, so they basically, they put, they encrypt it. No, this is bollocks. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I think we are not gonna do that. And um, the conclusion of today's live stream will be the fact that we completely failed to do that. I mean, I should have probably investigated it first, but uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just wipe all my changes and we're gonna keep using YouTube DL because this is some crazy bonkers going on here and uh, I don't see any reason actually to repeat that. It will be way easier to bundle YouTube DL with um, with a thing. So I hope we could replace it ourselves quite easily, but it looks like Crunchyroll is not intending to um, give us an easy way of doing that. So, you know, but we learned something. We learned that they use crazy crypto to just encrypt a bunch of subtitles, which <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're gonna do the um, authentication next time. But thank you for watching this live stream, and I see you uh, in the next one, probably this weekend, actually. See you.